Right, good morning guys. Uh, just a quick sort of on-the-go video. Um, I bought a so-called K40 laser. Uh, they're, um, few people a few people have said that they're not very good and a bit dangerous and whatever and yeah I can sort of agree in ways. Um, a few people have said that theirs aren't earthed. Luckily mine is. Um, the wiring's not that great but you know um, made this label because yeah the perspex cover is exactly that it is just perspex there is no laser protection in there at all um, one main thing that I wanted to share with you um, <clears throat> is the fact that the well this rail um, as it turned out on mine it wasn't cut in perfect squares they were sort of you know them two lines were straight but them two were on the slant a bit turns out that that whole rail was you know sat on the piss because uh, I put a square across there um, and there is an easy fix for that if you've got the same problem as me you take the little strip of metal off here that's you know screwed on there's a little coupling here and that couples there's a drive belt on this side and on this side and it couples them together Obviously, if if one's pushing and one's pulling a bit, it's gonna you know drag that out of the square. So all you have to do is undo them screws, and then you'll be able to adjust that that way. You know to get it to cut perfect squares. So that's nice and easy. Um, calibration of the laser. It's, you know it's the usual. You stick a piece of sticky note over there. Um, fire it there, 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 and there, and the dots should all be in the same place. If they're not, then you've got to adjust <coughs> adjust the mirrors. Um, there's a quite a lot of videos covering that, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, another fairly interesting point: the it does have limit switches there and there, but it doesn't have them down this end. So you can actually drive it too far that way and too far that way, which isn't good. Um, you've just got to basically be very careful with that. And the water cooling I've ended up using a 25 litre tank because I was using a you know a 5 litre tank and it, it heated it up in no time at all so now I've you know got a big body of water that will hopefully keep it cool enough. Uh, the software is the, uh, the bog standard laser DRW uh, that's what I was working on last. If, you, if I go up to engrave I don't know if you heard that, it moved over into its zero point. Uh, the origin at the moment is set to one and one. That's just because I wanted to fit in the biggest piece of wood that I could, you know. Basically, top corner is up there. I'll just uh, test fire it just to show you about whereabouts it is. Yeah, you can't see it. Um, however, if I Sorry, I'm getting a bit flyly with the camera. If I usually my zero is right on that corner there, so if I pull that open, you know, it it sits right on that corner there, which for my particular machine is 32 and 16. So I hit apply, and then it's obviously moved into there, that corner there. It's uh, it has actually moved down a little bit, so I'll move that back up. So that will be Y, I think, is it? Yeah. Set that from 16 to 13. There you go, that's about right now. Uh, and then obviously you can apply that. Those are all my settings if you want to have a quick look at those. Um, obviously you can set it to cutting, engraving, and marking. I haven't used marking yet, I'll have to try that one. Um, but for this particular piece, I did just go cutting, speed, 10 millimeters a second and I went 90% power and uh, that after six passes went through a piece of 6mm MDF so it's pretty impressive really uh, it's not bad at all so yeah it's a quick insight into this I mean if you want a, a more in-depth video just let me know in the comments and I'll uh, put something a bit more in-depth up <laughs> 